Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 9th, 2020. So yesterday we had another strong bullish run that really, well, honestly, we gapped up, went nowhere most of the day, and then in the afternoon session found a little inspiration to rise higher. It was um, very much a grind and slow push to the upside. And then almost immediately after the market closed, we started to see the futures turning lower. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we're looking at a little bit different situation in the market. And if you are, um, if you jumped in late into this rally, you may feel a little bit of pain this morning as suddenly everything seemed to shift um, overnight and we're getting this overnight gap down. So we've been gap up, gap up, gap up, gap up, gap up, gap up and pretty much go nowhere except um, on that jobs report. And then in the day getting a, um, a push uh, to move higher. But as you can see this morning, we're looking at a gap down. Right now, futures are pointing to about 265 points right now. They've been down as much as 350 points, but in the typical fashion, uh, first thing that happens every morning lately is all we just get an institutional pump trying to push things higher. So right now we're looking at this market and we're looking at a little bit of a gap down and it really guys shouldn't be that big of a surprise. After um, a seven day run where the Dow increased nearly 2,500 points, we should expect some kind of rest or pullback. And it looks like we're gonna get a little dose of volatility this morning. No, I certainly don't want to suggest that it's going to remain bearish all day. I don't know that um, at all. But we did have kind of a an overnight shift in the news reports, if you saw that. Texas um, um, an announced their highest number of COVID infections, uh, hospitalizations. Um, worldwide, we just hit a new record high of infection increases. And um, we started to see news of recession. We started to see news that U.S. and China have entered a Cold War. All these things all of a sudden seem to roll up all at once. And we're getting this little bearish move this morning. What can we expect from this? Well, I don't know. And as we head into the two-day FOMC meeting, honestly, anything is possible. We could get something out of the F FOMC that inspires the market to just keep leaping higher, depending on how much money they're willing to print and continue to spend into the market. So watch this closely this morning. What I would suspect is that we're going to see a bit more volatility in the price action this morning. And if the profit takers do kind of take over, if the bears profit takers jump in, let's keep in mind that if we just pull back into here, we're looking at a Dow pullback and that doesn't even change trend. It, it doesn't change anything. We're looking at a Dow pullback of... 1250 points or so so kind of keep that in mind if we just retraced half of this run um, it could be um, rather painful for those who got in at the end of the move so just keep that in mind and watch this closely in case it does occur i'm not suggesting that it will but we should watch it if we take a look at our moving averages here you can see we have stretched this up far beyond our 200 day moving average with no retest no pullback so, in all likelihood, we get some kind of retest of support. Um, how far that pullback um, goes, I don't know. As a matter of fact, it doesn't have to be a pullback. We could actually just consolidate. So kind of keep that in mind as well. We are very extended away from our 50-day moving average. I will say that. And this extension is extreme. So consider the fact that in key, just in case that news does start turning um, a slightly negative, we could have um, some profit taking coming into play. Let's take
take a look at SPY. SPY also in extremely extended condition, a long ways away from our averages. Now that can be just a function of this dramatic recovery um, here in the market, but it could also be just a function that we got a little bit carried away in the buying um, going up. So we are gapping down this morning. You'll want to consider that. Watch this carefully. We're testing these resistance levels here in the SPY, and we'll want to watch that carefully just in case those profit takers do decide to come in and put a little pressure on the market. The bears might be a little bit hungry, so let's watch carefully for that. QQQ has been incredibly strong and you know new record highs which kind of begs a question whether or not do we need any more stimulus if we're at record highs do we need any more fed injection if we're at record highs seems kind of odd that we are fueled up on print free printed money when we are setting new record highs in the market so let's keep an eye on that but we are going to see a little bit of a pullback um, a little bit of a gap down and a pullback to test this um, breakout high as support would not be out of the question so kind of keep that in mind and that could be uh, a bit of a painful pullback if that were to occur you know we're looking at um, uh, about five points back on the NASDAQ or two, two and a half percent um, in that pullback. Very extended away from our 50 day moving average here, which would suggest at least a rest could be coming at any time. Let's take a look at um, IWM. IWM also rallied strongly yesterday, pushing above its 500 day moving average. Once again, a very extended move away from the 50 day moving average and the possibility that a rest or a pullback could be uh, soon on the way. So watch that closely. Now, one of the things that was interesting yesterday is why we were rallying. There was some clues here in the market. First, we had the VIX rising. The VIX was moving up. There was um, obviously a little bit of fear coming in that we had extended this move a little bit too far. So the VIX started to rise yesterday while the market was continuing to go go up that might have been a little bit of clue we also saw some defensive sector stocks utilities gold and silver rallying just a little bit yesterday um, kind of those defensive plays that safety play um, as we extended and extended in this rally. So we'll want to keep an eye on this. But one thing I want to say is don't panic about this because at the moment, you know, the VIX is still in a comfortable downtrend. There is nothing here that suggests we're going to just reverse and spike all the way back up. But it was interesting that intraday it was showing us yesterday that fear was coming up um, and kind of warning of this potential pullback uh, today. Let's take a look at T21. 122. Now this has been um, virtually useless here um, lately, but I got to tell you, I have never in my career seen T2122 so pegged um, at the top end. That suggests um, a rest or pullback is coming. Now, can we continue to fuel this higher? I think we can if we keep printing up the money, if we keep um, talking about stimulus packages and things like that, we could continue to push this or peg this up here at this high level. But it's also entirely possible that profit takers, those bears might be a little bit hungry, start pushing things uh, back down. I know folks that may have got in this late might feel like the carpet's just pulled out from under them, and that's understandable. Um, unfortunately, it's the new normal of the market. Um, we get an institutional push one way or another, it seems like every day, either we gap up or we gap down. And unfortunately, that's what we as retail traders um, are having to deal with. And every day seems to be a substantial gap. So keep that in mind as you plan your risk and plan your trading that, um, you know, tomorrow could be a, another complete reversal um, in the market. We don't know. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, actually a pretty darn quiet day today, except for the beginning of the FOMC meeting. We, we're going to start the FOMC. At 10 a.m., we're going to get the job openings report. It's not looking to be bad. Um, 
a little bit of a decline from prior is what they're expecting, but nothing, uh, nothing terrible in there on the job openings report. But then we could just get a little bit of calming. Um, we might get some morning volatility, might be a little bit of calming. And then remember, we've got the FOMC announcement tomorrow with the Fed press conference to follow. Um, we, we're going to get CPI numbers and the petroleum status. All of those can move the market around a bit. So tomorrow will be a bit more interesting on the economic calendar than today. On the earnings front, we have um, about 39 companies reporting earnings Day. We do have a few notables to be made aware of, but I'm not sure they're going to be ones that really move the market around dramatically. Let's take a look. First off, um, AMC. AMC um, reporting this morning, and we'll have to, it looks like it's indicating just a tiny bit lower, but that could just be a function of the market gapping down. I'm not sure they've reported yet. Keep an eye on that. It'd be a li little bit difficult to believe that AMC is going to report a good earnings report considering theaters have been closed and social distancing requirements means that they can only about uh, fill them to about 20% capacity, um, even on the reopen. Um, CHWY, Chewy, Chewy, um, also reporting today. Now, they have benefited uh, dramatically from um, the pandemic as everyone um, having to feed their pets and buying product online. So, uh, keep keep an eye on that. That could have a very good report today. Um, CONN, um, Specialty retail and retail itself has, um, in the last few days, seen quite a surge in uh, buying. Um, keep an eye on this as this reports today. It looks like it's indicating just slightly lower this morning. Five Below. Five Below is another retailer reporting today. It had a little bit of selling yesterday and also looks like it's indicating just slightly lower. GME popped huge yesterday in anticipation of its earnings today. Uh, GameStop will see if they benefited from the coronavirus or not. People buying game systems and games and things like that out there. No streaming services that I know of that come through GME, so may not have been uh, the benefit that other streaming services uh, may have seen. Um, HDS is reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. MOV will be reporting today. You can see a lot of these have spiked dramatically into that earnings report. Uh, Signet Jewelers today um, is reporting, and the last I have on the list for this morning is VRNT um, as a possible uh, mover um, or notable um, this morning in earnings reports. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in your trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, um, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon every, um, when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to provide any prediction um, whatsoever. They're just simply to look at the tacticals, the the aspects that are uh, affecting the market for today, the, the news events, the, the um, economic calendar, those kind of things, and see how you might want to approach the market for the day. And if you find this to be helpful, if you could please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment. It helps us to con continue to grow the channel. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Honestly, very humbled by all of the wonderful comments that come in. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, you guys are awesome. So with that, why don't we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. And I want to apologize. This video is going to be just a little bit later today. We had some nasty storms here last night and I was waiting for a thunderstorm to pass before I even um, started my work this morning. Um, so uh, I'm a little bit later than normal but hopefully you will understand. Um, uh, weather related things I, there's not much I can do so let's take a look at a few stocks I actually added some alerts yesterday um, keeping an eye on SQ here SQ nice trend these pay systems um, have done really really well and SQ rallying nicely breaking through this resistance and you can see this nice little tight consolidation in here 
if we can get that bullish action, this might push on through. Now, seeing this morning's features, it may not have that opportunity to do that today or even the next few days, but as long as it can hold support, there is that opportunity. This could resume that uptrend. So keep an eye on SQ. Overstock.com has been one of the beneficiaries of uh, COVID-19 and as you can see holding in a nice little trending pattern we were, were consolidating over here no I do drew a trend but I don't know where that trend is yet um, so just to be aware of that I don't know I, I, I don't have any insight into when this might pop from here but just that opportunity that this could pop and resume that trend in here we've had four little days of nice little consolidating move anytime we could see that push on out and that uh, continue to extend so keep an eye on that um xlu xlu i alerted on this yesterday morning i saw this perking up uh, notified everybody in rwo rightway options about this and it did trigger that alert moving on higher so it was one of those when we see utilities starting to perk up um, it's one of those possible warnings of a little concern of extension and people trying to seek some safety. So keep an eye on that. It um, looks like it's going to pull back a little bit this morning. But right now, XOU holding up nicely. Take a look at Intel. Intel um, has had a, a nice little consolidating move. And we finally broke that alert, um, that pink line there on my chart getting a little rest and pull back. And this morning we're pulling back a little bit more here in that chart, but we're still a very, very bullish um, set up in the chart. If I were to run a trend up here, we're still holding in that area. So all we need is those bulls to step up. Maybe we can attack these all time highs here in Intel. Something to keep an eye on. Take a look at Shake Shack. Shake Shack has been very, very strong here. Uh, broke that alert on the chart. I've been bringing this chart up for a while. Uh, broke that downtrend, consolidated, held that downtrend as support, and then the bulls came in pushing this higher. We've broken through a little level of price resistance in here in the chart. So now any rest or pullback in here may set up an opportunity to continue this upside trend. So just kind of keep that in mind. We may pull back and rest in here for a little bit and then look for that next upside opportunity in the chart. Facebook I've been keeping an eye on and as you can see I have an alert on this chart. Watching this consolidate after this uh, breakout to these new highs here and we're holding that as support now this does hold the the uh, possibility um, the way we're setting up of a possible downtrend setting up but right now everything is so bullish i kind of have to lean to the bullish side on this trade so i'm watching this for an upside move holding that support seeing if we can break through and continue to uh, push that trend higher in the chart looking pretty good overall uh, united healthcare popped through and it's been trying we've struggled along in this resistance area but we did hold this support and as you can see kind of pushing up here and although we pushed through yesterday got a little pullback um, watch this in here with uh, covid numbers starting to spike back up we could see a resurgence into the health care sector so watch that close if that continues also watching okta but this one has kind of slipped on us i was watching this for that possibility that we would hold this trend and move on up now we've broken that trend and i want to watch this pretty closely for that possibility of a rally back into resistance and then that failure um, we'll have to watch that closely on okta paypal has been very very strong and paypal PayPal, another one of the pay systems holding up. We broke um, through into this new level um, up here. And as you can see, we're holding it with this nice tight consolidation getting a little bit of a pullback maybe here this morning where we want this to hold this price support in here but if it can hold that price support and get those bulls moving there is that opportunity that could move higher so keep an eye on that chart now if you're looking for um, a short trade you might want to take a look at a trade like amd amd has been slipping um, we had a bit of a double top high here a bit of a double top high here and now that possibility that we've consolidated consolidated 
consolidated over to that trend and that possibility that this could fail here into a short trade. So keep an eye on AMD, a little bit bearish in that chart. Um, Netflix has also been a bit of a concern here lately and you can see we made this high, we have a lower high and we've rallied back up here toward that um, downtrend. So watch this in here. If this um, does get a little bit bearish, that possibility this could turn south. One thing I'm noticing this morning though is it is actually trying to move higher and that could be just because the COVID numbers are starting to spike back up and those stay at home type um, stocks may actually improve um, under that situation. So keep an eye on that. Costco, Costco is one that you might want to keep an eye on as well as a possible short. You can see we rallied up here and we failed at resistance for a new high and turned back around. So if that gets a little bit more bearish, there could be a bit of a short trend starting to show up here in Costco. So there's a few stocks on both sides of the aisle. I don't know which one is going to be the great stock of the day, and I certainly don't pretend to, to say that I know what's going to happen next. Please keep in mind, guys, that every single one of the stocks I bring up in this list requires you to do your own due diligence. They are just a mention of a watch list item, something you might want to keep an eye on. They are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. So everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Have an awesome, awesome one. Make those profits come in. Bring that cash register. Y'all take care, stay safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.